Hey YouTube, it's Ashley, back with part two of this weekend's thrifty adventure. Uh, as you can see, I'm filming a second video this uh, tonight, <laughs> if I can talk. I got really tongue-tied at the beginning of the last video and had to uh, start filming a few times, so apparently this is no exception. So anyway, I'm just going to get started and show you the things that I bought from the second stop, which was Goodwill uh, today, and then um, also the stop at St. Vincent de Paul, um, which was not, well, it was kind of far up the road from where Goodwill is. Basically, there's a Savers, about half a mile up the road, there's a Goodwill, and then several miles up the road from that, I thought it was closer than it was, there's a St. Vincent de Paul that we'd never been to before, but we drove by it on the way in, and I was like, hey, there's a thrift store that we drove by on the way in, we should stop there, so we went back to it. Anyway, to the haul. Um, so from Goodwill, I just got one CD, some books, and a few records, just two records. Uh, the CD that I got was The Offspring Conspiracy of One. Not an Offspring CD that I have. I have worn the heck out of a copy of Offspring Americana. I don't know how many times I've listened to that album. Definitely one of my favorites, um, but I wanted to check this one out as well. And then for books, I found some cool ones. This book looks brand new, uh, definitely never been read. It is uh, the official movie prequel, Terminator Salvation from the Ashes. So that sounded pretty interesting. I was always a fan of the Terminator series. And then I got the second Harry Potter book. I picked up the first one uh, this summer, earlier this summer, from a library book sale. So this one is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And this one was in really good shape too. And then I picked up a Nicholas Spark books that I didn't have. Uh, this one is The Last Song. And I'm trying to remember, I want to say books were 99 cents, and for some reason a few of these books I got charged 49 cents as kids books. I'm guessing one of those was Harry Potter, and I don't know what other book they considered a kids book. Because the other paperback that I bought was The Buddha's Apprentices. This one just sounded really interesting. And then I bought a hardcover book. This one I'm sure they did not consider a kids book. Uh, Dexter in the Dark, and this is the third book in the Dexter series. And so I, I basically read up on this, and the first book, which is Darkly Dreaming Dexter, is basically what they based season one of Dexter on. And then the series went off on its own direction, or in its own direction, and the books went in a different direction from what I understand. I don't know. I read most of it on Wikipedia, so who knows. And so I figured the books would be really interesting since, you know, the series, even though I watched all the seasons of it, kind of left me wanting more Dexter. So why not read the books and see what happens? So I picked up book three. Hopefully I'll be able to find books one and two. If not, get them from the library or buy them retail if I have to. So that, I think, might have been $2, because it was a hardcover. And then albums were $0.99. Cents. I picked up Tina Turner. This one is Private Dancer. thought that's what it was called, but I didn't want to say it if I wasn't sure. And then I got uh, Ray Charles' Greatest Hits. And this one even has... What was the one that I was laughing about? Oh, it's got Hit the Road Jack on it. <laughs> I just remember singing that when I was a little kid and thinking it was like the greatest song. I don't know. Maybe it was just me. So then at the um, St. Vincent de Paul store, I just picked up some books, records, and a belt. So why don't I show you the belt first? This was actually the first thing that I found. And I just thought this was really neat. It's got basically two gold chain, snake chain kind of things that come around and hook onto this front part. So it just hooks together like so. And then we've got this front part that has like some little beads on it. So I just thought this was really neat. Uh, definitely, you know, like 80s 
fashion, but I thought it would be pretty to go around a dress or a long sweater, something like that. <clears throat> and then the books I picked up, all of their books, they didn't have like a bookshelf. They were just in these huge, huge bins. So I didn't really dig around. I just looked uh, at the top of the books. So I found a few things. This one, uh, I don't know how good it, or bad it will be. I just kind of read the synopsis and figured it was something different. It's called The Stud Book. I also picked up The Witch's Daughter. In the Time of Butterflies. And this one sounded really good, even though it is part of a series and definitely not even close to the first book in the series. But it didn't sound like the kind of series where you needed to read all the way along, so if I really like this one, I can always pick up more books in the series. This one's called Blowfly, and it is a Scarpetta novel. So this one was like a forensic kind of book. And then the albums or records that I picked up, I picked up The Association, and I believe this one is self-titled. I also picked up Kenny Rankin, like Seed. I picked up Gloria Gaynor, Love Tracks. This one has I Will Survive on it. <laughs> I picked up the soundtrack to On Golden Pond. So I just remember watching this movie like a bunch of times when I was little and I loved the movie. So I'm sure I'll know some of the songs from the soundtrack. I didn't even look to see what songs were on it, to be honest. And this album cover just really caught my eye, so I had my boyfriend look up what this guy sings. And I guess he wrote songs for a lot of artists that we like, so I figured some of his songs might be good too. So uh, this is Paul Williams, and the album is called Life Goes On. And that is a pretty nifty album cover. And that's definitely an image of him, like a cartoon version of him, because that's what the guy looks like. So yeah, those were my items from Goodwill and St. Vincent de Paul. I still have uh, my items from my third and final trip to Savers, third, second and final trip to Savers today, and also, I don't know, I might throw in some things that I got from Joblot, because I found some really cool things at Joblot today, too. So I'll be back with another video soon, but thanks for watching this one. Have a good night. Bye.